What's up goodies? Welcome back to your girl channel and to my kitchen how to cook. And today, honey, we are making the best sea moss porridge in the kitchen. Fast, easy, and simple. Be sure you subscribe, goodie, if you have not already, and turn on your post notifications so you won't and upload. And for all I'm returning, goodie, on a don't know so what, on a girl loving it to the max. On a ready for cook, let's cook. Look what prayer can do. Hypocrite and bad mind must slow. The same out to cheer for you. I the same one them would turn round and boo. Yeah. I am me, I use and win. I am me, I use and win. All right, good day. Make we turn up the kitchen. Now, the first thing we want to talk about is the sea moss. Now, some people call it Irish moss, sea moss, whatever kind of a moss you want to call it, but this is um, sea moss. Now this one here, we did buy it from, this is the Ocherius brand, as you all know that we love Ocherius everything. But of course you could find it in different stores or you could find a different brand. But this is actually a half a pack, it was a full pack and I used it for another recipe. Um, and this is all I need, depending on how much porridge you want to make or how thick you want to porridge. You might need to use a whole pack, but for me today, we are going to use just half a pack of that sea moss. Now, the next thing you want to have for this porridge is your planting, and you want to make sure that you have a green planting. You don't want to use a ripe one or one that is about to be ripe. You want to make sure that it's exactly green, green for sure. Now, some of you might say you don't have a green planting. If you have green bananas, you could go for the green bananas as well. It's going to work just perfect for the recipe. Now you're going to need coconut, coconut cream for sure. I have about a cup and a half of coconut cream here. If you're using the one in the can, go ahead and use the entire can. This is freshly grated coconut. Now also to the recipe, we could talk about the other things we're going to put in. This is some bay leaves here and I have one, um, at eucalyptus uh, leaf here and this is totally optional but it gives it a nice little flavor you don't want to add too much of that to it because it's very strong so I'm using one leaf here and this is um bay leaf cinnamon leaf no bay leaf bay leaves these are bay leaves and this is soursop leaf I'm going to add about one of that to the porridge so you need soursop leaf bay leaves and eucalyptus leaf one just one for the porridge right now you're going to add about a half cup of cornmeal to it um, I'm using the refined cornmeal but if you have any other cornmeal just use the cornmeal that you like not everybody like the refined cornmeal but I do love refined cornmeal then you're going to add about a cup of oats fresh oats here um, do not use the instant oats, use the regular raw oats, right? Now to give it a spice and a flavor that you want, I'm going to add some rose water to it. My Jamaican rose water, and again, this is the Ocherous brand. Use whatever brand you have, you don't have to go with Ocherous because you're girl addicted. Let me show you something how addicted I am. You see that? These are all Ocherous seasons here. Um, this one is, a, I just found this one the other day. Another brand of something. Um, I will talk to you about the flavors. If you want me to show you my seasons and stuff, just let me know. But honey, uh, seasons everywhere, okay? Let's get back to it. Now, we talk about the rose water here. Um, as I go along, I'll tell you the amount that you need for the recipe. But you're going to need cinnamon powder here. Salt for sure. Um, almond extract. Some nutmeg here. Uh, cinnamon sticks, uh, vanilla, the recipe, all right? So this is what you're going to be needing thus far. So let's get this thing going, all right? Be sure that you like, share, and subscribe if you have not already. And turn on that post notification so you won't miss any of these good uploads, all right? Let's get going. Now the next thing you want to do is make sure that you give your sea moss a nice rinse. Simply because the sea moss is salty. So you don't want to go ahead and start making the porridge with all that salt on it. So you want to go ahead and just give it a nice little rinse here on the cold running water only. Um, you don't have to soak your sea moss. 
overnight but you, you can let it sit in the water for maybe about an hour or so maybe two hours because we are going to be putting this in the blender and it's going to cook with the rest of the ingredients so you don't have to soak it or anything overnight for this recipe all right just give it a nice rinse and just drain that water off and right there you're good to go now for your planting all you're going to do is simply you're going to cut the ends off on both sides let me go ahead and adjust my camera so y'all can see what i'm doing here all right all right so you just cut off both sides both sides of the planting just like that um give it a good rinse i'm going to give that a rinse That's off camera. So anyway, we get a good rinse, right? Now you don't want to peel off the skin of your plantain. And even if you're cooking, you're going to use green bananas, you don't want to go ahead and peel it. You're going to cook this porridge with the skin on, on the banana or the plantain. Do not remove it, okay? Looks like that, for those of you that don't know what the green planting looks like and in Jamaica green planting is one of them things that we will love Jamaicans love green planting it makes some of the best recipes ever and we love to fry it with salt fish and kalaloo and you just name it Aki we love green plantain just boil it and eat it with chicken or brown stew or whatever even curry it's one of those um fruits that are uh, vegetables rather that we just can't do without jamaican stand without plantain fried plantain whether it's ripe or whether it's green this makes one of the best porridge so we're gonna add it to our sea moss today okay so basically that is what we have here you want to go ahead and add this to the blender now if you don't want to go blender like I'm doing here right you just go ahead and grate this you can up in fact grater your plantain or your banana if that's what you're choosing to use now after you have had that to the blender we give back up so you're going to add the sea moss to it Sea moss, Irish moss, whatever you want to call it, y'all. You go ahead and add that to it. And then all you have to do is use the, the coconut milk here. The coconut milk, coconut cream. That is a cup and a half. But I want to bring it up just a little bit more. So I'm going to add a little bit more water. And again, you could just go all coconut cream here. Right? That's pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and blend this up and let you see what it looks like when I'm done with that method. Alright, so after about a minute of blending, alright, just a minute. You want to go ahead now and add the oats to it. So we're going to add the oats, right? That's all. Right? And that was about a cup. And then you're going to add a half cup of cornmeal to it. Just go ahead and dump that in. And again, if you choose to use coconut milk or water, you can go ahead and do that. I'm going to add a little bit more water to it. Just to make sure so everything blends out nice and smooth. Cover it up back and blend it again. Just mix everything around. Just make sure so everything gets it all up in there. Everything is nice and smooth. So that is done. You don't want to thin it out 
all the way but you still want it to be nice and creamy perfect awesome bring it a little bit closer so you can see what I'm seeing here so everything is nice and smooth right you don't want it to be all smoothed out you want to be able to taste the mixture once you put it into the pot but everything is just perfect here as you can see right um the banana or the plant of choice whether you want to use the plant or banana in this case we use plantain it's all smoothed out and uh sea moss as well right so that is good so we're now going to go ahead and add this to the pot and get this thing cracking okay y'all so here i have about four cups of water that's boiling you want to make sure that you before you start the recipe your water is in fact boiling so now we're going to add all the leaves in here the bay leaf the eucalyptus leaf and the sauce up leaf let's go ahead and add everything in and then we're going to add some cinnamon sticks want to give this thing flavor so we're going to add about two sticks of cinnamon sticks to it just add that because we want this part to have tons and tons of flavor here Right, yeah so now I'm going to go ahead and add in the mixture I'm going to add it a little bit of time and the trick to this porridge is to keep spinning all right you want to keep spinning you don't want it to get tick up and get lump up so just keep spinning all right um don't add all at the same time all right we're going to add the rest of it in just keep mixing now it is going to start to thicken up so you're going to go ahead and add water to it all right all I did was add water to my blender just add some water into it and just keep stirring It is definitely going to thicken. It's definitely not going to be thin because sea moss it gets thicker as the water gets hot. Or let's just say as soon as the water starts to bubble, the sea moss is going to thicken it up. And remember, you add oats to it and you add caramel to it, so that is already a thickener, a thickening agent. So just go ahead and keep mixing and spinning so that they, that way you're sure that the thing will get lumpy, lumpy. Look at that. Perfect. You want to make sure that your, your fire here is at a medium heat, y'all. All right, and mine is starting to thicken up, so I'm just going to add a little bit more water to it, not a lot. Like I said, um, this is not no really measurement to your porridge, how you make it, as far as uh, the amount of water that you put to it, because it's going to be up to you as far as how thick you want it. And the longer you boil the porridge, the thicker it's going to get. Again, be sure that you have your stove here at a medium heat. Already it's starting to get thick. Even after a minute of boiling, it's starting to get thick already. Let me show you guys. As you can see, you see that how thick it is? All right, so like I said, as soon as it gets hot, really hot, it's definitely going to start thickening up. So it's up to you to know how thin you like your porridge. Some people like their porridge thick, very thick. And some people like them porridge in you know, the medium bracket and some people like it very watery me I don't like it thick like this and I definitely don't want it to be watery so I'm going to add some more water to it now if you don't want to add water you could add some more coconut cream like I said or you could add your favorite um, milk of choice like if you want to add cow's milk um, almond milk whatever kind of milk that your stomach could tolerate you could go ahead and add that but we're going to add some more water here so we add some more water and I'm see I have a cup but I'm not adding all of it at the same time because I'm not trying to ruin the texture right I just want to adjust the thickness y'all this thing smells so good already and I didn't even put the spices in yet and it's already smelling amazing the banana I could actually smell the sea moss oh my goodness it smells so nice so make sure you have your fire pan 
low to medium heat okay look at that y'all my goodness we could go ahead and add the spices to it and then add some more water again as needed so here i'm adding some salt um i'm just going to add just salt right there as needed and as i go along and cook it up then i'll know if i need more this is nutmeg right i will definitely list everything that i use for the recipe y'all and then this is um vanilla like I said, I'm just going to go ahead and add now. And if I need to add anything later, I'll definitely do that. This is rose water. It gives it a nice little flavor there, the rose water. And then I'm going to add the, the cinnamon powder for sure. And of course, we're adding some almond extract here. Just a tad bit of that because the almond extract is very strong. Give it a nice little mix in y'all. Really, really good. Look at the texture of that. It's coming along awesome. Nice. And now I'm having the smell, the aroma that's coming from it. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Can you talk about LT? All right, just so that goodie. Right, just so. Look at that that wow perfect right so I'm gonna have another half a cup of water just a little bit remaining I'm just gonna add that to it right and so like I said just go ahead and just um, make the texture your own right I'm gonna go ahead and um, cover it up right I'm not gonna add anything more to it until the planting is cooked the cornmeal is cooked and everything comes together and again my fire here is at a medium heat so when everything comes together then I'll know if I need to adjust flavoring right but right now goody right I saw it there look at that perfect oh my goodness this I think I'm liking this um, texture here it's not too thick and it's definitely not running here all right so we're going to cover this up as a matter of fact, don't cover it up too tight. When you put the, the lid on, you're going to crack it. Crack it, right? And I'll show you exactly what I mean when I say crack it. Once you put the lid on, you're going to do this, okay? Just give it a little bit of ear to breathe because if you tighten it up too, too tight, then the part may become watery and runny. So just give it some room for the steam to come out. I'm gonna let that boil on a low to medium heat for about 20 to 25 minutes, tops 30 minutes, just to allow the planting and the cornmeal to cook nice and slow. And when I come back, I'm gonna go ahead and taste it to see if I need to adjust anything here as far as flavors is concerned. And then I go ahead and sweeten it and we're ready to serve. So I'll see you back um, in the next 30 minutes. Okay, y'all, so a porridge has been boiling for about 25 minutes here now you don't want to let it pass for more than 25 minutes it is perfect the texture is just nice came together amazing all right so now we're going to do here is go ahead and um sweeten now your sweetener is going to be your sweetener of choice here i am going to be using Sweetened condensed milk here, okay? Now, this is the one of choice here. Just sweeten to your taste buds. Um, I make it a lot here. Almost a whole pot of porridge. So I'm going to use the entire can here. And believe me, it is not as sweet as you guys think. Alright, but just make a taste buds your own. Um, and sweeten. Now, again, after you've had, when you're adding your sweetener into the porridge you want to go ahead and turn your fire off here if you don't then the porridge will possibly become very watery here so of course you want to go ahead and turn it off once you get ready to sweeten the porridge now another thing that you guys need to know with this particular kind of a porridge because you have your sea moss in it just know that when the porridge comes cold okay when the porridge starts to get cold or cooler let's say it is definitely going to thicken because of the sea moss. 
This right here is all sea moss right here. That is the best part of the porridge on it, the sea moss. Right there, that's sea moss, right? So this is going to become nice and thick, okay, for the porridge. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Y'all, if you ever smell this a porridge, y'all. This porridge is good with fried dumplings, bread and butter, crackers and butter, you name it. Awesome. Sea moss porridge, good for the back, for the man them. <laughs> if the woman them want to have a baby, I eat this right as well. Sea moss porridge, right? And there we have it goody, another amazing recipe that is fast, easy, and simple. Please don't forget to give this recipe a try and tell a friend to tell a friend. Tell them what's going on over here, man. Bring them, come and send them, come. I'm waiting. I want to get done doing that. Tell me what I want to see me a cook next. In my kitchen. And remember as always, from my kitchen to your kitchen. Enjoy!